Given your uh, shadow portfolio, employment rights and protections, if you were in power right now, it would be your job to try and sort out uh, all of these disputes that are going on at the moment. What would you do? Well, I'd actually probably be in the room, uh, which is more than Grant Shapps is doing at the moment. And um, I have to say that uh, uh, if uh, if one looked at this from a certain perspective, you could consider that actually what he's trying to do is prolong the dispute by making provocative statements, by tying the negotiators' hands, and now even threatening the rail workers with redundancy, which is the sort of thing that he was criticising P&O for doing just a few months ago. So uh, I think we would take a completely different approach, and I would hope that we were able to reach a, a sensible compromise. How much would you be paying the rail workers or, uh, indeed, the Felixstowe dock workers that we just spoken, uh, who would want a 12.1% increase, they say, to actually cope with inflation? I mean, that itself is going to stoke up inflation in the coming year, isn't it? Well, I think we, we, we know that the main factor behind inflation at the moment is the increase in energy costs and the world gas prices, along with some uh, factors to do with uh, manufacturing coming out of COVID. But we wouldn't actually be the ones setting the figures. It would be down to the individual bodies who are negotiating directly with the trade unions. What we wouldn't be doing, though, is uh, trying to uh, hamper those negotiations, which is what appears to be happening at the moment. Where is your leader at the moment? Why isn't he being more outspoken and sending some sort of alternative agenda to what we're hearing from the two Tory leadership hopefuls and also what we're hearing from the unions? Um, I mean, where is he? What's he what's he saying? Well, you, you will see he's been been very active this week on our, our energy price cap uh, policies. And obviously, I've come on here today to talk about what we'd like to do in relation to the minimum wage to get us to a point where actually people who are in work can make sure that work pays. And actually, we get this uh, cycle ended where we've got five million people who are in work who are also in poverty. We really want to be putting uh, our country forward in a situation where people who are in work are able to actually meet their bills rather than this uh, cycle of low pay that we've got at the moment. So we are coming forward with policies. We are on the front foot. And I think that is probably why we're getting these positive poll results.